Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay, in a moment. We have just Patricia and Racina, right? Yes. Bye. Hi, Christina, how are you? Hi, teacher, fine, thank you, and you? Very good, actually, thank you so much for asking. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and Work here together. Okay, so we're gonna start working guys. Thank you so much for uh, being here today. In today's class, we only have four people. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hopefully the others can get into the class right now. And well, first of all, I would like to know if you have questions about the class that we had yesterday or any comments so we can start today. Hi teacher. Hi. Um, in the platform, uh, the I style knowledge check uh, section one point four. Um, there is a part I don't mm, resume. You know what and I mean? said. One. I don't like to. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The question is, I don't like to be with people, period. I have nothing in common with this person. Um, um, we have to connect the two sentences uh, yeah. with who or that, but I don't, <laughs> I, I can't. This one, right? Yes, uh, at the end. Uh -huh. At the end. Yes, I, the I se the second part. Yes. This one, right? Number four. Yes, but uh, there are a uh, second part. Oh, uh -huh. with this one. Yes, uh huh. The second one, I can't to resolve. <clears throat> okay, well, what was your answer here? <clears throat> How do you answer this, uh, Patricia? Uh, we have to connect the two, the, the two part of two sentences with who or that. Yes. And I I can't. Mm -hmm. You can't. Okay, let's take a look okay. at the example, right? So we have in the example first, I don't want to have a partner, right? That's the first part. I don't <laughs> want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person, right? So once we do that, once we start actually, we see the two sentences, I don't have, I don't want to have a partner. I have nothing in common with this person, right? We see that we are joining these two, right? Because we are using extra information like this, right? We come from here, right? And this information, this is extra information right, about this partner, right? Uh -huh. So the only thing is that we're predicting this. How, how did you answer this one? It says, I like to meet people. 
These people have a good I like, mm -hmm. I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. Who have a good sense of humor. Of humor. Okay, very well. Now, let's go with the next one. Look at the example. Right, in the example, if we notice, right, we have not deleted, we added who, right? But we have not deleted the word I, right? Mm -hmm. So how would you think you we can make it here? In the second part, I don't like to be with people. I have nothing in common with this person. Mm -hmm. I tried with who and that and uh, I can't. Okay. What was your answer, Patricia? I don't like to be with people. I don't like to be with people who, who have nothing in common with, probably with me, with this person. Um, <laughs> Okay, I have nothing in common with. Who I have nothing in common with. With. Mm -hmm. Right? Is that what you have? Is that what you yes. have? Okay. I will solve this, this one in, in the morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Because I. I understand that uh, who substitute the uh, the subject uh, people. Exactly. No? exactly. So in the second sentence, uh, people is uh, the part of this person. Yes. Of this person, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. So this one right here, this person, right, uh -huh. is pretty much. The substitution uh, people. of people here, uh -huh. yeah. right? So we we're going to leave it like this, Patricia. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with. So we don't have to repeat. Common with. Yes, um, I don't have to repeat this person, right? That one, you should delete it because it's going to be too repetitive, right? Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead Thank and you. continue. Thank you, Patricia. Does anybody else have a question? Thank about you. This? Sure. Thank you, Patricia. Does anybody else have a question about this exercise? No? Miss, I, I have the same uh, wrong that Patricia, but I put in the, in the sentence, I try to to give a uh, to, to give a tour, mm -hmm. and the sentence. Can you put the 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 screen again, please? Okay. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. I try to to put I have nothing in common with this person that don't like to be with people. Oh uh, no, that's incorrect. That's incorrect, right? Yeah, <laughs> I know because it's running. Always is the X in, in the in the next X, to yeah. it. Uh, yeah. The thing is that you, you must put the relative close, the closest to the thing or the person you are describing. Right. So in that case, if you're putting that, you are interrupting the sentence pretty much. So you need okay. to use this. You need to use the clause. Right here, this class is describing people, right? So it, it should be the closest, right, to what it's describing, right? Okay. 
Yes, that's why. Very good, Sylvia. Now, Thank you. I would like to see a little bit more about this topic, if you don't mind. I know we have the videos there, mm -hmm. it's okay, but uh, we can see more information about the relative uh, pronouns or clauses. Let me see here and tell me if you can see my, my class still. Can you see what it says? Uh, relative clauses? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here, I'm gonna put you right here on the spot. So, pretty much, these are these are the words that we use, right? Here, we're going to use, right? If we want to use for subject, which is the one that we have seen in the video, right? Subject relative pronouns. We use who, which, and that. Right. If we're going to work with objects, which is the video that we're going to watch today, right? We can use who, which, or that. And then if it's possessive, remember that we use whose, right? Now that's what we're going to use right now. I want you to look at the examples. Cody, can you please read this information and first example? Adrian, read second example, and Azucena, read number <clears> three, <throat> please. Okay, we use relative pronouns to introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell you more about people and things. Example number one, Lord Thompson, who is uh, 76, has just re retired. Retired, yes, there you are. Retired. Okay, number two, Adrian. Okay. Uh, this is the house which Jack built. Uh, Mary Curie is the woman that discovered radium. Okay, very good. So we have these examples, right? For relative clauses, right here. We're gonna put them right here. And I want you to look what we're going to do here. It says, Lord Thompson, who is 76, has just retired. That is the sentence that we have combined with the pronoun, right? With the relative pronoun. That's that's what we want to do. But this sentence was something like this. Lord Thompson, right? Has just retired. Lord Thompson, right? Is 76. These are the two sentences that we are combining. Right. These are the two sentences that we are combining. And we are using who to combine that sentence, right? Now, in this case, right, what we're doing is that this information, the age of Lord Thompson, right, is describing directly the person. So if we say Lord Thompson has just retired, who is 76, it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't, if we, if we write, for example, like this, if we put our example like this, Lord Thompson has just retired, who is 76. Does, does this make sense to you? This is combined, right? This is combined. So, Tell me, does it make sense to you when we say this? Lord Thompson has just retired who is 76. Is this correct? No. no. It doesn't sound right. So, exactly. That's why, right, since this is, uh -uh, this is incorrect, right? We are using this other structure right here. This is Lord Thompson who is 76 has just retired. So we are putting the description, the closest to the person we want to describe, right? Do you understand that part? Yes. Yes, okay. What about the others? Yes, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. No. yes. Take a look at the explanation of the other examples, right? I'm going to be deleting this, okay? Because we need the space. 
Now we have, this is the house which Jack built. Like the previous example is already combined, right? It's finished. Now this sentence looks something like this. This is the house. Jack built. Jack built the house, right? Now, we have these two sentences. We are combining the sentences by saying this, right? This is the house which Jack built. So we are substituting this information, right? We say, uh -uh, we don't need the house anymore. So we're going to delete this, right? And we are going to just say, this is the house which Jack built. Jack built. Okay, now, <clears throat> do we have questions right now about this? Do we understand example number one and example number two? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, in this case, uh, we can use that. Yes, we can use that. But in this case, with the house, we cannot use who, right? We can only use which or oh. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the house that Jack built. We can say that too, right? What yeah. we can do is to use who. Right, because who is for people, right? Now, let's tell me, how. what do you think are the sentences for Mary Curie? It says, Mary Curie is the woman that discovered radium. What are the two sentences when they were separated? Mary Curie is the woman? Is the woman. Mary, Cur Mary Curie discovered radium. Mary Curie, okay, is a woman. Oh, yeah, is the woman. Thank you. Mary Curie discover the red one. Right? And after that, we combine it, right? We combine it. Excuse me, or... or or we can say she discovered the radio. She discovered the radio. Yes, very good. She is, it's okay, right? Remember the pronouns that they just help us to substitute the nouns, right? But I That's think correct. the if we just put she discovered the radio, we need a context, previous context, I think. Exactly, exactly. We will need previous context. In this case, it's just a sentence. Mm -hmm. it, exactly, right now it's just for us to know that this previous sentence was separated, right? But now we can join it by using a pronoun, right? Now, do we understand this part right now? Yes, Let's continue teacher, working. I have a question. Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> What's your question? Uh, about this sentence, um, can we say Mary Curie uh, is the woman who discovered Redmond? Yes, we can say because that. Because we are talking about the, the, the person who discovered. Yes, exactly. Actually, look at this information here. It says, we that use, is... we use mm -hmm. who and whom for people. Mm -hmm. We use which for things or situations, right? Okay. And we use that for people or things. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So we have this one right here. Those are very good questions today. I like them, very good. Now, let I continue here, right? With two kinds of relative clauses. Look at this, number one. Luis Arquimedes, oh no, Susana, can you help me out to read this information, right? And the two examples, please. Susan, uh, Susan, I'm sorry, Susana. Oh. <laughs> That's why I didn't understand you because I'm looking for Susana. 
<laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, As two Sena. kinds of relative clause. There are two kinds of relative clause. Number one, we use relative clauses to make clear which person or thing we are talking about. Okay. Um, Mary Curie is the woman who discovered radium. This is the house which Jack built. Okay. Here, we're giving a specific information to this two, right? This defines this. This defines this. We can say, Mary Curie is the woman. Perfect sentence, subject verb complement. Everything is perfect. But we're not giving much information about who Mary Curie is, right? But if we say Mary Curie is the woman who discovered radium, we're giving more information, right? We can say Azucena is the student who got an excellent score yesterday in the, in the exam. So we're giving more information about Azucena, right? We're giving more information about that. The same with the house, right? We, oh, this is the house. Okay, what? What's important about the house? What do we want to say about the house? Do we have to say something uh, specific? I would go, this is the house which I love the most in my city. This is the house which my mother built in 1950, right? We're giving extra info and important information that we want people to know, okay? This is something important, right? Important for this and important for this because it gets definition, right? It gets definition. Now let's continue here. Let's read number two. Archimedes, can you read this information in this kind of relative clause? Archimedes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay. In this kind of relative cause, we can use instead of who or which. Mary Curie is the woman that discovered radium. That is the house that Jack built. That Jack built. If we see, we can use that instead of who and instead of which. The meaning is the same, right? We are not changing the meaning in the sentence, right? It will keep exactly the same, right? Are we clear with that? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, let's continue, right? It says here, right, something very important. Mayra de Paz, can you read this information and the examples? Yes. Yeah. Um, number one, we use relative clauses to make clear which Person, no, right here, right here. We are Mayra, right here, please. Yeah, we can leave out the pronoun if it's the object of the relative clause. This is the house that Jack built. That is the object of Bill. Okay, so it means here we can leave out, means that we don't need it, right. This is the house Jack built. And this makes sense. In my personal case, right, I always use that. I don't know, for me, right? That makes sense for me. But grammatically, you can use it or not use it, and it will make sense, right? It doesn't make any change, right? So let's go ahead and see the first example, the first exercise. I told you yesterday I had exercises, right? So Let's see the first one. Let's not freak out about the exercises, right? Just let's just try to complete them. And if we make mistakes, that's okay, right? So we're going to look at this. It says here, grammar reference, right? Can you see here? What we're going to do, let me make it smaller. Can you see the screen? Can you see the exercise? Yes. yes, yes, teacher. 
Yes, it's yes, yes, So what are we doing here? I think I left the meeting, right? Yes. Okay, yes, go okay. ahead. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change my, my connection, okay? Okay, give me a moment, give me a moment. I'm gonna change my connection. I'm so sorry, I was changing my Wi-Fi connection. I have to do just in case. Now tell me if, tell me if you can see my screen, please. No. Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Yes, no. yes, 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 right now. Perfect, perfect. So we're working with eight sentences, right? I want you to look at them, right? And what we're going to do is to decide which is the best option is which that or nothing. This zero means like you don't need it, right? So you have three options of that. <clears throat> who or that, who that or nothing, right? So let's do the first one. It says economics is a subject I've never understood. Can I say? which I have never understood, that I have never understood, who, what, what would be the best option? Who? I think it's that. 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 Which, which and that, yes. right? I'm gonna drag it right here, okay? So I can say, look, economics is a subject which I have never understood. Economics is a subject that I have never understood. Number three, economics is a subject I have never understood. So I have three options, right? Don't worry because we're going to, to, to select later and we're going to see the answers, okay? So I want you to think of the answers individually right now. What is the best answer? Look at all of them, right? Remember, the ones that have zero is because we have different options to that, right? So let's do it. Let's start individually, individually. Did you finish? No? <laughs> I am worried, writing all. <laughs> uh, perfect, perfect, That's perfect to me. Uh, number two.
Give me a sec. Let me know if you have questions about vocabulary, if you have questions about pronunciation, or if you really don't understand a sentence, don't worry. This is just practice, okay? It's better to practice here, make a lot of mistakes here, and then we'll see what happens later. Really? Very good, Patricia. Uh, finish too? Yep. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. How about the others? Yes, finish. Okay, good. So let's start with Patricia. What would you have in number two? Number two, I want a mobile phone that takes good photos. That takes good photos, okay? So can I use this? Which and that? Which and that. Okay. Yes. Which takes good photos or that takes good photos? Excellent. What about number three, Archimedes? What do you have? Uh, I who that and zero. Who that and zero. Can you read the complete sentence? Okay, I work in that big yellow building. Who? Okay. Yes. Over there. Over there. Yes. Who? Okay. Who you can see over there. Now, I will ask you just one question, Luis. What are we describing here? A person or a thing? A thing. A thing. Okay, good. Can we use who for a thing? No. And that's okay. uh, which, that, or zero. Which, that, or zero? Okay, so this one will be here, okay? Which okay. you can see over there, that you can see over there, you can see over there. Well, let's see what happens. Corey, okay. can you go with number four? Lee Harvey Oswald is the man who should, who should shoot John F. Kennedy. Okay. If, if, this one? Who and that? Who and that? that yes. Who and that only? Okay. Who and that only? Good. Number five. I want to listen to Miss Veronica. Mel Strip. Mary Strip is the famous person. Uh, hold, hold that. I most like to meet. What most like to meet, okay? Sylvia, go with number six. What's the name of the lady who is wearing the blue dress? Is who or that? Who or that, okay? Who or that too, okay? Now, here in this one, let's be clear. We need to use who or that, right? We must use who or that. But if we don't use anything, it wouldn't make sense. What's the name of the lady is wearing the blue dress? Mm -mm. We need to have a subject, right? So I would change this one, right? Or this one right here, okay? Let's put it like this. Number seven, one. You need a coat, wish, not that will keep you warm this winter. Wish that. Okay. Wish that will keep you warm this winter. And number eight, uh, let's do this. Uh, Miss Adriana Pais. You're the most beautiful person who who that or you I've ever seen. Okay. Let's click on finish, right? And we got this, eight out of eight. Very good. Those are the answers, very good. Now I will explain something to you, a trick, okay? This is a trick. 
that I learned when I was in school too. When you have which, that, or zero, right? Which means that you don't need these two, right? Usually, usually you will have a subject. Which, that, I've never seen. Look at this, you, add, I. We have a subject, we have a subject pronoun, right? But when we really need to have a pronoun, which and that, who or that, it's follow after a verb. Because this makes the, 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 like the work of a subject, right? So ver, 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 and ver. Do you see that? So yeah. that when we are actually sure about our answer, right? Now, are we clear with this part? Do you have yes. questions about this exercise? No question. No question. No question. No? Good exercise? I think it's a good exercise, right? I think it's a good exercise. Let's continue here, right? We have who and that working as a subject of the sentence, right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and do our uh, video practice, right? And we're gonna make a, a quick practice with the conversation too, right? Can you see my book? Oops, let me let me change. I'm gonna change the, the, the option to share. Can you see the book? Yeah. Yes, okay, good, 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 good. So here in the book, right, what we're going to do right now is that we are going to practice, right? We're going to watch yesterday we watched the first video, relative pronouns as subject. The second one is as objects. So we're going to watch that and we're going to listen to a conversation, okay? So let's do that in this very moment. Let me know if you can listen. We take this two people. Do you listen to that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, teachers. Let's start. Hello everyone. In this class you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples and at the end of the class I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in gray up here, and I actually color that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That phrase could change, not just necessarily I like guys. And then 
they aren't too serious. Um, in this case, I want you to notice that we're using adjectives. All right. So whenever you use adjectives, this is a little bit of what we saw uh, yesterday, right? Apparently, we have a little bit. Hmm. No, we're going to explain here, right? Uh, what are the relative pronouns? We're going to stop watching this video, okay? Vamos a dejar de ver ese video. No subieron el mismo, así que vamos a ver acá. Give me a moment. Miss, at the end of the of the video, there are some examples. Yeah. Uh huh. Not not. I, I don't like them. <laughs> Let's okay. go ahead and see here. Okay. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment here. Okay, can you see my computer? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to see a little bit of this guy. The examples he's given us, right? So let's pay attention, okay? Pronouns. A relative clause starts with a relative pronoun. The two common relative pronouns are which and who for things and people respectively. But it is important to note that a relative pronoun can be the subject or the object of a relative clause. For example, in the sentence, This is the course which takes six months. The relative pronoun, which, is the subject of the relative clause. Which is the subject, takes is the verb, and six months is the object. However, in the sentence, this is the course which I took, the relative pronoun, which is the object of the relative clause. I is the subject, took is the verb, and which is the object. Similarly, in the sentence, he is the teacher who speaks three foreign languages. The relative pronoun, who, is the subject of the relative clause. Who is the subject, speaks is the verb, and three foreign languages is the object. And in the sentence, he is the teacher who I met, the relative pronoun who is the object of the relative clause. Who is the object, I is the subject, and met is the verb. Of course, when who is in the position of an object, then you can also replace it with the word whom. If you do so, your sentence becomes He is the teacher whom I met. That's it. Now you know how a relative pronoun can be the subject or the object of a relative clause. That's it. We have subject and object, very clear, right? Now I want you to look at the, right now, the sentences that we worked with before, the exercise that we did. Do you remember this exercise? Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. Very well. So based on what we just watched in the video, which of these sentences are subject and which are object? Let's see. What about number one? Is that an object? Yes, the number one is mm -hmm. object. 
Okay, this is object. Let's put it here. Here, she says that this is object. Okay, what about number two? Sylvia? What Subject. No, I Sub don't think. Okay. Object. Subject, object, okay. What about number three? It's an object. It's, it's object. an object. Okay, object. What about number four? Object. Subject. 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 Very good. Subject. Number five. Yeah. Subject. 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 Yeah. Object. Object. Yeah. Object. Add like the most. Object. What about number six? Object. Object. Very good. And number seven? Object. Object. Object two. Very well. Number eight? Subject. 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 Okay, very good subject. Now, I want you to look at these examples, right? We have everything here, right? With the examples, I want you to write two sentences, two examples, one object example, one subject example. Right? Write it and put it in the chat, please. Write it and put it in the chat. I know you can do it. You already discovered the key for these relative pronouns, which is pretty easy, right? Okay, let's see the examples. What is a dog, Patricia? This is the manner butterfly. It's the most beautiful animal that I've ever seen. That I've ever seen. It's dog, sorry. Okay. That I've ever seen. That I have ever seen. I will say this. The monarch butterfly. Oops, sorry. Butterfly. is the most beautiful animal that I have never seen. Very well, right? I like girls who are intelligent. I read a book which she recommended to me. I like girls who are intelligent. Very good subject. I read a book which she recommended me. Very good, Adrian, that's perfect. Let's Thanks. see, Mayra de Paz. COVID is the moral virus that changes the world. COVID is, it's a moral virus, it's a. Because it's not only one, there are plenty of viruses out there that cause death. Right. I want a dog which isn't noisy. I want a dog which isn't, isn't noisy. I work with people who are responsible, me too. 
Me too. It was my brother who worked the, who broke the car window. Excellent. But in that case, a Juan is not object. It was my brother who broke the car window. That is a subject relative pronoun. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, thank you, Juan. My teacher name is Clarice, who like to teach languages, languages, sandwiches, the ones that we eat at El Estadio, right? It's, My teacher is languages, excuse me, it's languages. <laughs> My teacher is Clarice. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Is Clarice who, who likes, who like, who likes who, to teach languages? Okay. Who it's likes true. to teach languages? Okay, thank you. Write it again, write it again. I like to know about books that are very interesting. Very good, Christina. Right? Thank you, teacher. Who else? Who else? We're missing more examples. I don't see Sylvia's, I don't see Susana's, I don't see Elizabeth examples. Where are your examples, people? Okay, so I want a hard cup of coffee that wakes me up, wakes me. That wakes me up. Sorry, Miss, I am, I have dyslexia and I confuse the words. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Depp is the most famous person. The most Johnny Depp oh, is famous. Most... Yes, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Johnny Depp is the most famous person. He's calling the attention right now. Attention with double T, A T T. Attention. My okay. son doesn't watch movies that contain violent scenes. Wow. Good. good for your son, Veronica. Very good. So my teacher name is Clarice, who likes to teach languages. Very good, Archimedes, excellent job, right? Now, I'm going to delete this information. I'm just gonna... Ah, okay, languages. I'm just gonna snap it and then send it to you. Right? Just give me a moment. Languages. Give me a sec. Just gonna. Okay. I just sent the examples to the group, just in case you didn't copy them. You have them there already, right? Now, before we go, we're going to make another exercise here, right? This is also related to what we just did, but just a little bit smaller. I like to be a person who learns English very well, who learns English very well. Very good, excellent, Patricia. I like to be a person who learns Italian very well, right? So it's difficult for me to learn Italian, guys. English is a subject which I like the most. Very good. Now, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. So for tomorrow, I know that you have other activities to do, of course, right? But I want you to look at this exercise. I want you to match this exercise, right? So we go ahead. Uh, well, I think you already did it in the platform, right? So maybe you can give me the answers now, right? Because I want to check your pronunciation. I know that some of you already completed this in the platform but I would like you to, to tell me the pronunciation that you have now. Is that possible? 
Yes. Of course. Yes. You have number two and Cory number three. Okay. Patricia number two. Uh, I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy teachers who that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Help me understand things easily. Who help me to understand things easily? Very well. Who help me understand things easily? Good. Thank you. Number three, Cody. Okay. I prefer a roommate who is quiet, considerate, and neat. Good job. Very good. Number four, Gracina. I don't like to be with people uh, who um, who have a good sense of humor. Uh huh. Who? Oh. Uh, who I have nothing in common with. Who I have nothing in common with. Very well done. Uh, Mr. Let's see here. Mr. Juan. Juan Martinez, number five. I discuss my problems. I discuss my problems with friends who can give me good advice. Okay. Who can give me good advice? Okay. Number six, let's see if uh, someone who has spoken today. Rosa Luz, number six. I like to have a boss who is a respect as a leader. Who I respect as a leader, very well. And number seven, Miss Guti. Me? Okay. I like to meet people who uh, have good sense senses of humor. Who have a good sense of humor. Very good. Now, we have the sentences. And let's see. We have two minutes. Quick, quick, quick. Let's go ahead and look at this. Number four. I don't like to be with people who... Right, and number one is the same. So A, B, C, D, E, we're missing F, right? Let's put F right here, okay? This one. Mm, I don't like. I don't like to, who, who I don't feel comfortable around. Sometimes yeah. you don't feel comfortable around people, right? Very good. Now. Tell me, which of these sentences are subject and which are object? Now that you have them complete. I think uh, number one is a subject. Number one is subject. Let's see, I don't want who I have nothing in common with. It's subject. It's object. Object. object because we have object, subject, object, verb, right? It's object. What about number two? Subject. subject. I enjoy teaching. Help me. Very good. Excellent. Number three? Yes, Patricia? Is the subject. It's a subject. Who is quiet, considering in need. Very good. And that's how we guys 
make sure that we understand subject and object questions, okay? Did you copy this exercise? Did you take notes? Did you take a screenshot? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Now, before we leave, we have just a couple of minutes. Do you guys have a question about subject and object relative process? <sighs> Does anybody have a question? Easy to understand, right? If you make your examples, just try to make more examples, please. Right, try to make more examples and bring your examples to the class or send them to the chat so we can see them in WhatsApp. Take a few minutes, write your examples and put them there, right? Now, uh, we're going to stop right here, guys. I will see you tomorrow, right? On Wednesday at 8 p.m. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye